Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great October. This will be a review on the Ultimate Nightmare Demons from NECA. And I got this from Mad About Horror. Amazing service as always. It arrived in mint condition, super fast. And I definitely recommend you check them out if you're getting yourself any kind of horror figures or all kinds of other goodies. Enamel pins, masks. And that's where I get my Michael Myers masks from. And just anything horror related, they're the best place to go. So. There are some distractions around us, but I don't often get to show you stuff like this, so I figured I'd get all my American Werewolf stuff out for this review. And I will be reviewing the Kessler Werewolf figure once that comes into stock at Mad About Horror. So, beautiful packaging on this. And as you move, the image moves too. And that's very creepy. Beautiful, beautiful box art. And in case you're wondering, the American Werewolf in London bust that was made by Sota Toys and it's quite rare I think there was only a thousand made the number that mine is is kind of it's worn off the underneath yeah mine is something of a thousand Sota Toys 2006 and uh, yeah it's a really nice piece I made the flames on the candles myself and I had to uh, sculpt the teeth again because I broke one of his big fangs off and then I made him a bloody version so not exactly as you get him out of the box if you do manage to find one on eBay I went looking a few times just out of curiosity and they were very very hard to come by it's a really nice piece but I will be getting the Necker Werewolf once that's coming to stock at Mad About Horror as I said there is a beautiful kind of blu-ray but made to look like the old vhs and i remember seeing that front cover when i was a kid so many times in the old vhs you know rental shops and it always scared me and i finally saw it i can't remember when i saw it for the first time really i've got no memory of it but i will always think that the uh, this scene here you know the first kind of 15 minutes of american wealth in london when they're on the moors uh, who doesn't think about that you know when you're walking out maybe on your own on your way home from somewhere and you have to go through you know an area that might remind you of the moors a little bit we all get that uh, chill down the spine dreading that inevitable howl in the distance <laughs> all right let's do it let's turn them loose right, so again the front cover is amazingly well done and pictures of the figure on the side with all the different head sculpts comes with four heads i think let's see that's confirmed uh, somewhere here you've got your credits for everyone involved and uh, as it says on the back yeah there you go it includes four interchangeable heads three firearms two knives a torch and more so this scene always freaked me out it still does a little bit to be honest uh, spoiler alert you know because it this nightmare ends and then you think it's over and it's not <laughs> it just always gets me uh, that's probably the head that I will display because I want to put this with my werewolf you know collection of stuff um, even though I guess that's a werewolf too uh, maybe that yes that does kind of look like a werewolf skull at least maybe a zombie werewolf I guess they're all supposed to be zombie werewolves sorry guys I'm a little bit slow <laughs> they're all zombie werewolves you fool uh, yeah I never really thought about it before I just kind of uh, I try to forget this scene because it's so so brutal and crazy but yeah there are all three different kind of stages or uh, versions of the wolf the demon wolf the hound from hell but yeah i think well seeing as they're all that makes it yeah because before i was like definitely displaying that one because that's clearly a werewolf but they're all werewolves so um you'd need to buy four of these in order to have that display which would be awesome they give you all the heads, but they only give you the one body. That's how they get you. And then, uh, yeah, you'd have to buy... Well, I'd have to buy three more in order to achieve something cool like that. Very tempting, but, you know, I uh, I may or may not do that. We'll see. Let's uh, get him out of the packaging. But 10 out of 10 for the packaging. Who's responsible for that? Hang on. Here we go. Packaging. Uh, Chris Ramo, is that how you say it? Well done, Chris Ramo. All right, so it comes with this in the box. Beautiful display. Uh, great for photography, as always with NECA. They've been using these for quite some time, or, you know, putting these in the box. You know, they know we like to take pictures of our, our action figures, so they take care of us on that one. 
And there is the piece. Really, really nice. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but <laughs> look at that. These head sculpts are incredible. They look amazing. Gonna have a lot of fun with this. So yeah. I'll just set him free. Does he have twisty ties? Uh, I don't think so. I think he's just literally none of that. I should come straight out. There was one little kind of elastic uh, tie thing around his waist, but that was a piece of piss. So, oh, hello. Hello, Cedric. Where have you been? Cedric? Where'd that come from? He's got his knives out and he looks bloody awesome. Um, when you bend the elbows like this, it kind of hides the elbow joint quite nicely. I mean, you can kind of see it a little bit underneath, but it's a great looking piece, man. It's very cool looking. Very, very nice sculpt, great paint, and some really great accessories. I mean, those three other heads are incredibly well done. Amazing sculpts, great paint, nice selection of weapons and accessories. Beautiful box to display with the piece. Very, very impressed. I'll try some poses and swap the heads around and I'll compare him height-wise to some other NECA figures as well. Right, so I'll just get a close-up look at this head sculpt first. I'll zoom in a little bit. But excellent detail. Really good paintwork. Very freaky looking. He's got kind of like a receding mohawk thing going on. Let me just show you the side. Ooh. There we go. And the head and the neck are kind of a separate piece, so I guess you can get a little bit more posability out of the head there. Maybe get some head tilt going on, looking down, looking up. So I was not expecting that. Very, very cool. Look at the detail on his outfit. That is really clean work. Excellent stuff. Just turn him around. Let's see the detail on the back his boots oh, yeah, look at the really nice sculpt on those some good posability here you got pivot knee articulation articulation here as well very very nicely done as is usually the case with NECA pretty damn reliable Alright, so I'm trying a different weapon now. I'm not too sure of the technical or you know the exact name for this type of gun, but it's sculpted really really well. I've changed to this head again, the one that is uh, on the body in the box. Really freaky looking, it's the only one with the helmet on. Do you know what? I think I saw in another review somewhere that you can take that helmet off. Let me just try that. Yeah, you can. That is cool, so we can appreciate all the sculpt on this. Oh, well, I guess you're uh, you're not supposed to. You can, but you can see there where that the helmet kind of must, you know, clip in there. But it's, oh, I guess if that's protruding out, then it might not go. Because I, I don't know for some reason I kind of wanted to see it on this head. We'll try it, see what happens. Well, because of that bit sticking out in the helmet. Uh, it doesn't sit quite right, but you could definitely get away with it, I think, for some pictures if you wanted to. Like, from certain angles, you can kind of get away with it. But it's good that you can remove it, though. I mean, you know, some picture variations. I mean, you can't see that bit from the front or even from the side. You know, you get away from it, uh, get away with it until you get to about there. But just to let you know, that's a really freaky looking... It reminds me, I don't know, it's supposed to be like the skull of a werewolf or like a zombified werewolf head or something. Obviously it hasn't got any ears because he's wearing the helmet, I guess, I'm not sure. But um, it does remind me of the kind of animatronic or well, the puppet, you know, head that they used uh, when David was transforming in the apartment, the flat, the house, whatever it was. Anyway, it reminds me of that. It's very cool. I like it. Nice detail, great paint. I really do hope they make... Um, Jack and David, you know, in that look. I think we all want that, really. It would just be amazing to have that, especially once you get the Kessler Werewolf. You know, I hope they do that. They might do. Then obviously there's all the different versions of Jack as he's, you know, getting worse and worse looking throughout the movie. That would be cool. 
even the version of David when he has the dream, the first nightmare where he's in the kind of hospital bed in the middle of the woods and he has that crazy zombie werewolf face when he wakes up and scares everyone. That would be nice too. There's a whole bunch and obviously the transformation, different stages of transformation. <laughs> that would be mad. Oh man, the possibilities. Such a good film. All right, just appreciating the awesome sculpt on this one. And I just rewatched the scene on YouTube on my phone just here, just to remind myself uh, which version was supposed to be holding on to which weapon. But they pretty much all seem to have a gun, machine gun. I mean, they were unloading in the house, just shooting the place up. I believe it was this guy who had his knife uh, to David's throat. So I've got him holding on to the knife as well. But excellent, excellent sculpt. Great paint on this as well. Nice kind of layered paintwork on here. Really good skin tone. Excellent job. Very freaky looking. And now onto this pretty much full on werewolf head. Um, minus the ears. I know he does have ears, they're back there. I don't know why I was expecting them to be more kind of up the top up front. I suppose that's actually the same as the actual werewolf. Let me just turn this a little bit. Yeah, his ears are back here. So that makes perfect sense. Yep. So just for my werewolf display, I want it to look uh, as werewolfy as possible. So I'll probably use this head, but I can totally understand why a lot of people might you know, push the boat out and get four of these so they can have the complete display. I mean, it certainly would be impressive to look at. And so many people, you know, walk into a room and they'd see those guys and be like, holy, you've got them? You know, because you wouldn't expect them to get made, really. And we're so fortunate now that these exist because American Wealth in London is such a classic, such a classic. People come from all over the world to visit locations, from, you know, to walk those moors. Um... I was just watching a video recently on YouTube of the the real slaughtered lamb, or the interior of it anyway. And they've still got the same, I think it was the same floor. They haven't changed the main door that you walk through, I think. Um, but it looks pretty different now. But you can still kind of see the original kind of uh, look of that slaughtered lamb interior of the pub. Such a creepy, creepy scene as well when they first walk in there. And the late, great Rick Mayall was in that pub, in that scene. One of my heroes. But that looks really, really awesome. Let me get a close-up for you. There you go. Got those crazy werewolf eyes. Fangs are done really nice. I cannot wait to get the Kessler werewolf. It actually looks pretty big from what I've seen. There's quite a few reviews on YouTube. He seems to have some tiny little hairs sticking to his eyeballs. I'll have to sort that out later, but really, really impressive stuff. So I've got him holding on to the, the fire to burn, to burn stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right, now here he is next to an old figure from NECA. This is Eric Draven from The Crow, played by Brandon Lee, RIP. So they are pretty much the same height. Here he is next to the NECA Ultimate Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 Freddy's Revenge. One of the absolute best Freddy figures out there and also the quarter scale version from NECA is an absolute killer as well. I love that look for Freddy. Definitely recommend you pick up that one folks. But there he is next to the Nightmare Demon. And they are pretty much the same height as well. Freddy's hat just giving him a slight tip. But man, what a piece. I might have to revisit this one. I would have reviewed it already years ago, but that's so good it could probably do with um we do with a little bit of a re-review or we'll just do like a Freddy session or something because I've got quite a few Freddy pieces. So maybe I'll just do that. Freddy Fest. It's happened before, but it's gonna happen again. And soon. And now next to the Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th Part 3 by NECA. Again, pretty much the same height. Ah, uh, now he is taller than Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles original movie. So, 
They still look cool together though. It's really nice getting a chance to see these guys again because I don't really have room for the NECA stuff on the shelves of the big guys. So these are kind of on my window ledge in the collection room here. So that's behind me. And I often forget to turn around and just take a moment to appreciate how amazing the turtles were. I have all of them thanks to Paolo. That's one of my subscribers. Really, really cool dude. That was a couple of birthdays back. Thank you, Paolo, if you're watching for the turtles. Absolutely incredible. But yes, Raphael is a little bit shorter. Well, a fair bit shorter than the Nightmare Demon. Next to Pennywise from It Chapter 1. All of these figures are made by NECA. And do factor in the little base that he's standing on. Might give him a slight height advantage. And in case you're wondering, that is just a NECA stand. You can find them on eBay. Type in NECA stand and you'll get a few different options for that. Oh yeah, it seems like Pennywise has a slight bit of height advantage over the Nightmare Demon. And last but not least, we'll get to the Deadite Ash, which is a fantastic looking piece. I would really like it if Necker made this one in quarter scale, specifically this look. You know, I think a lot of people would like to own that. But this is good enough, you know, if that doesn't happen. Plus you've got the Asmus Toys 1-6 scale Ash from Evil Dead 2. They give you a head sculpt for this look. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I will be getting that piece, folks. Can't wait to do that review. But I love this one. All right, so yeah, they basically look about the same height. And that's the end of the height comparison. I could go on because there's there's loads more NECA figures that we could compare, but we'll be here all day. I think I've covered it pretty much. All right, folks, I'm gonna wrap up the review. Don't wanna keep it too long. So if I was gonna give them a score out of 10, be silly, he's a 10 out of 10. That's absolute no-brainer. This is a fantastic piece, man. Packaging, beautiful. Head sculpts, amazing. Articulation, pretty damn awesome. The outfit, sculpted and painted amazingly well. Great accessories, and one hell of a presence, and just so many options for display. So 10 out of 10 from me. If you're gonna get it, get it from Mad About Horror. Support those guys, they really do care. They work their butts off, they never stop, I tell you. I uh, communicate with them from time to time. They've been really good to me and they've always sent my stuff out so safe and so fast and I just trust them. I just go to them whenever I'm getting my masks now, my figures and all the other kind of stuff that they sell, the enamel pins which I like to collect and just all kinds of crazy madness. Go over to the Mad About Horror website and check it out. Let's support those guys, man. They're awesome. And um, yeah, support the channel by dropping a like on this video, subscribing. You can become a Patreon if you want. Helps uh, keep the channel relevant. Helps me keep up with the reviews that you want to see. And I'll stick your name at the end of every video, just like the credits of a movie. Because all my Patreons are producers of my content. God bless every one of them. I hope you guys are having a fantastic October. And I'll try and get you a few more videos before Halloween. But I am repainting some... Uh, Halloween Kills masks at the moment, the life-size masks, and they're going to be for sale soon, but I've been uh, surprised I managed to find the energy to film this review tonight because I've been painting masks all day. Well, just one mask. Been, you know, re it and painting the damn thing. But that will be, uh, you know, you'll see that on the channel soon. I'll show you that when it's finished. And make sure you're following me on Instagram at Dean Knight Free 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 for all the pictures of the masks I'm working on and all the pictures from reviews, like pictures from this review and all kinds of fun stuff. But yeah, guys, thanks for all the love for the channel and thank you for all the messages, whether it's regarding masks or just questions you got about figures or whether you, you know, just let me know that you like the channel that happens. And it's really, really sweet when it does. Every single one of you out there, I'm sorry if I haven't got back to you when it comes to messages, I do try my best, but there are a lot coming through and I'm deeply uh, grateful for your interest and your friendships and everything, man. Just thank you so much. And bear with me and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. Or you can always catch me on the live streams on the channel. Uh, like this Friday, 8pm UK time as usual. Another live stream where we can all have a nice little chat. But yeah, this has been a review on the Ultimate Nightmare Demon by NECA. From the classic film uh, American Werewolf in London. <laughs> Don't know why I'm having trouble talking. I should go to bed. Alright, he's a fantastic piece. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye. 10 out of 10. No doubt about it.